Over the last couple of weeks, I've been working on a really special project I'm so excited to share with you all. It's a painting of an Eastern Spotted Skunk. You can see the photo back there. It's actually a little baby uh, that was rescued a few years back by the Nature's Edge Wildlife Rescue. So I have to give a shout out to them because this was their rescue. Also to Spot Perfect Photography because this is the pho photographer who took this awesome photo. And if you've never heard of an Eastern Spotted Skunk, you're not alone because I'm right with you. I never heard of this species before, but it is a vulnerable species here throughout the Midwest and the East Coast. Um, I think that they have a little bit more of a population in Florida, at least that's what I read online. I've lived here my whole life. Well, I, I moved away for a few years, but basically my whole life here in Kansas for almost 40 years and I've never seen one, yet they live wild out just in all sorts of different farmland and in heavily dense brush areas like along rivers and creeks and things like that throughout the countryside. Eastern spotted skunks are considered to be a vulnerable population, and this means that they are in danger of extinction. And that's why we need to do something from a wildlife conservation perspective. It's an interesting situation because the normal striped skunk that we all know, we've all seen lots of, and you know, like sometimes you're driving down the road and you know one got hit, which is really sad, or one got scared because it just you know smells really bad, or you don't want to you know get your dog near them, that kind of thing. Those are the skunks that we're most familiar with, and they're actually growing in population across the United States and so they're not in, in danger of extinction at all but the spotted skunk it, it's a smaller type of skunk it's actually the size of maybe like a ferret maybe slightly shorter than a ferret but it looks a lot like a ferret and you can see that when you look at my painting one thing I found so interesting about the skunk is that it does handstands when it's afraid. You know, right before it sprays the smelly part that we don't like it kind of stands on its hands and moves its body straight up isn't that just so cool? <laughs> painting to be a part of an exhibition called 50 USA. At least that's the tentative title. I'm actually hoping that they're going to change the title. I don't know if that's the, the best title for this exhibition. But anyway, aside from that, it, what it is is that there's 50 women artists from 50 different states throughout the United States who are each painting one vulnerable or endangered species that lives in that state to raise awareness and funding for wildlife conservation across the United States. So I'm so so excited to be a part of this and knowing that the profit from the sale of the painting and prints that are made from it are going to help animals. Not only that, they're also making a book. It's going to be, well they're actually making two books. I know this is a little bit confusing. They're making one book that's based on each animal that's a children's book. And so my painting will be on the cover. There's going to be lots of other pictures and things like that throughout the book. And it's kind of a, a cute little nursery rhyme type poem, but it's an educational book that will help educate children about this species of animal so that way you know the future generations will know 
what the animal is is like I had never even heard of this before never once was I taught about the eastern spotted skunk in school and so kids need to know about this everyone needs to know that there are species all throughout the United States that are in danger of going extinct and that there are things that we can do to help them the second book that they're creating is basically a show catalog of all of the different artworks that are in the exhibition and the exhibition is going to travel throughout the United States I think that they're still in planning stages so I can't tell you where it's going to be yet but I do know that it's going to travel around the country and it's also going to go overseas into Australia and I think in Australia is where all of the originals are going to be auctioned off but I'm not sure like I said I'm not the one planning this and it's a huge international exhibition so they've got their work cut out for them but as I know more I will share about this on here with you so you'll be able to know where the exhibition is if you would like to go see it Now to the topic of trying to figure out how to help the eastern spotted skunk. It's not an easy situation to fix when it comes to wildlife conservation. This is mainly because we humans have collectively destroyed so many of the wild spaces for so many of the species and this is the root cause of most of the species lost throughout our world so that they just don't have places to live. They don't have food to hunt because we destroy it and we need to rectify that. In my opinion, I think that this is one of the biggest social issues that we need to tackle that people aren't thinking about and aren't talking about enough. And that's why I want to do more artwork like this and raise more awareness because I think that's one of the biggest things we can do right now is raise awareness. If you don't even realize this type of skunk exists, then how do you think that anyone's gonna wanna try to help it. One thing that we can do is stop spraying our yards and our lands with chemicals because we kill all of the different things that these types of animals eat. They eat bugs, they eat mice. So we need to make sure to allow bugs and mice to live. If you live like in the country somewhere, you have a creek running through your property, please let some brush grow up around it and leave some piles of brush around, just like in areas that you're not using, that are maybe away from your house, you know, away from things that you wanna protect but leave some areas for them to have a home because if there is a place for animals to live they will they'll start living there they'll thrive and you don't have to be afraid of the eastern spotted skunk they're good mousers and they help eat bugs and so they're a good thing to have around and as long as you don't scare them they're not gonna spray on you so if you have a piece of property that doesn't have a lot of activity of humans you can try to create an environment that would be hospitable to the eastern spotted skunk and if you would like more information on that I've posted a link in the description area of this video so there are some resources that you can look at on specific ideas for conservation of the spotted skunk. One thing to remember if you do have a piece of property and you see that there are spotted skunks living there don't try to kill them or get rid of them. I mean, they're not gonna harm you. Just let them live their lives and you know, just try to cohabitate with them because that's the thing that we need to remember is that we are not islands unto ourselves. Humanity exists inside an ecosystem. And if too many species die off, I mean, that's going to affect us. And so, you know, I think sometimes people are so self-centered and no one likes to hear that. And I am too, I mean, I'm not excluding myself from this. I think all humans are. We like live inside our bubble and we think that our actions don't impact each other or don't impact things around the world, but they do. And everything's so interconnected. And especially after the pandemic, we've all felt the interconnectedness and are still feeling the interconnectedness of humanity in this world. Uh, but what about the interconnectedness of how a species dying off affects another species and then that could affect us, you know? It's all connected. And so if we want to help ourselves, then we need to help the animals. In closing, I'd like to give a shout out to those of you who have supported me on Patreon. Your monthly donation is what is making this painting and many others after this possible because it pays for the art supplies and like the shipping costs and things like this and my time to be able to make them so that way I can 
and send them to different organizations to be auctioned off. Is That's my goal, is that to do several of these paintings every year, hopefully more if I can get more support through my Patreon. So if you would like to check that out and support me on Patreon so I can do more work for wildlife conservation, go to the link in the description area or patreon.com slash crystal coal. All right, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.